In this tutorial, I want to show you how easy it is to create a logo like this one with Canva. And this, even if you have no idea about graphic design or even if it's the first time you open Canva. So, ready for designing your logo? Let's go. All right, guys, today's your lucky day because I'm going to save you a couple of hundred dollars that you would pay a graphic designer to create your logo. And that is because I'm going to teach you in five simple steps how to create your very own logo. Yep, you will create it yourself using Canva. And at the end of this tutorial, you will have a logo. All right, so five simple steps. I will need Canva Pro for step number five. If you don't have Canva Pro, we will have a link for you at the end of the tutorial so that you can try it for free for 45 days. So stick around until the end and let's jump into step number one. The first step is to start your logo from a template from the Canva library. So from the Canva homepage, what you want to do is to click on this little marketing icon right here. So let's go ahead and do this. And normally you should see the second tile right here should say logo. Now, if you click on the tile, you will start a uh, blank logo document. That's not what you want. What you want is to click on the little magnifier right here to browse the templates, okay? And now I am here with hundreds, if not thousands of logo templates that I can just scroll through and see if there is one or a couple that actually inspire me that I would like to use as a base for my logo. So we also have some filters right here on the side for you to refine that search, that template search for your logo. So you have the first category of filters is the style. So you have logo, minimalist, modern, etc., etc. your theme. So in my case, I have a business called Storyteller, which is a storytelling business. People who are kind of like journalists, they create stories for news, etc. So that's a made up brand, but that's the logo I'm going to design with Canva. So I will search for a theme which is appropriate for this kind of logo. So let's click on view more. And I'm gonna go for marketing, okay? So marketing, and I want something simple. So simple logo, modern logo. So you see, you can select a couple of different filters uh, from this left menu right here to refine your search. So I'm just gonna scroll through them and see if there's something that catches my attention. That's always how I work. When I start by selecting a template, see if something jumps at me and catches my eye, which means it probably will catch the eye of somebody else. So I immediately find this one quite interesting. So I'm gonna click on it and Canva is going to open that template in the Canva editor. Now let's move over to step number two. Step number two is to customize that template that you found in the Canva library. What does customize mean here? Well, very simply, we are going to swap the colors, maybe change the content by changing the text of this logo. We might change the typography, the font if needed, and really bring any tweaks, any changes to this logo design that we see here so that it fits our concept, our brand, or maybe our brand identity. If I already have a color palette, for example, for my logo. In this case, I don't. I just know it is kind of a news agency, a production agency. So I want something kind of newsy. Okay. So I like the yellow color, but maybe not exactly that yellow. So the first thing I'm going to do is to double click on the text and replace square mag for my text, which is storyteller. So I'm going to type store, enter, re, t, Eller, storyteller. Okay, so that's how storyteller needs to be spelled out. Storyteller, so you drop the E. So let's see how that looks. Storyteller, it looks pretty cool. I think I'm gonna stick with this type of typography, which is fine. It fits very well into this uh, yellow square. So now what I need to do is to find another yellow because this one is the one from the template. I don't want to use it like so, like straight out of the box. I could use my branded color, this yellow right here from Ronnie's palette. So let's go ahead and click on this. This will be my first iteration of this logo, okay? One tip I have for you when you create your logo with Canva is to break down the different steps you take on different pages. So it's easy for you to come backwards and maybe change something. Or maybe you change something at some point and then later on in the design process, you start regretting that decision you made a few steps backwards. So what I would do here is to duplicate this page. Just uh, locate the duplicate page button right 
right here and click on it and Canva will duplicate everything on that same page. Now, the first alternative that I want to bring to this design is to get rid of this gray background right here. So now I have a completely white background. So that's the first, I would say, change I would bring. I will duplicate this again. And now I'm gonna start playing with this yellow color and see if I can find other yellow. So one way to do this is to click on the color, on the yellow color right here, and locate this gradient button right here, click on it, and start moving my circle right here to find another color, like so. So I could go like a lighter yellow, going more towards the white over there, or I could have like a warmer yellow. So it's really up to you. So this is already quite warmer, but I want to make this quite different. So I can also move the little circle right here more towards the oranges and bring more light into it. So that's one way for you to, I would say, tweak the color of your yellow. Let's duplicate this page one more time, but I want to show you another way to search for colors. You see this box right here? You could try typing yellow, for example, simply yellow, and you will see different kinds of yellows showing here. I like this one right here. It's kind of like the Snapchat yellow, which is very bright, very intense. I like that. And I think this is gonna work very well with the black. Okay, so I have three types of yellows right here. I'm not sure yet which one I'm gonna go with, but I do have the base for my Storyteller logo. I feel like there is one little thing missing to this logo to make it a little bit more sophisticated. So let's move over step number three. Step number three is to get creative with Canva's design features. Canva has a ton of different features that will help us embellish this design. For that, I just need to switch over from the Templates tab to the Elements tab. And there we go. We have now access to different things like frames, grids, videos, photos, stickers, all sorts of things. So from here, I'm going to type in some search queries in this search box here under the Elements tab. And I'm gonna search for record. Why record? Well, Storyteller is that media agency, that news agency, and I, I, I'm gonna create a lot of videos, a lot of content, and therefore I need to capture, I need to record a lot of content. So I guess the word record is very representative of my company, of my logo, of my brand here. So let's see what Canva has for record. What I'm looking for is a graphic. So let's head over the graphics tab here, and normally I should only see graphics, okay? So I see this dot, which is a recurring, I would say visual element when I typed in record, okay? So it's the record of the camera, the, the little red dot that is flashing, indicating we are recording, we are on air. Okay, so I would like to bring that visual element into my logo. So how can I do that? I like this flashing one right here. That could be an idea to make my logo even more interactive because it is moving, it has motion into it. So I'm gonna save this one for later, but I also need a version of my logo which is static. I just want a simple PNG logo that I can use anywhere, like a versatile logo. So how can I bring this dot element into my design? Well, there is two different ways of doing so. I could create a red circle. So if I type C on my uh, keyboard, I create a circle, C for circle. So I could scale this and I could simply, very simply, uh, go back to my color button right here and create a red color. So all of a sudden I do have a red dot. So that would be one way of creating the dot. Another way is simply to use this typography right here. I could double click on my word storyteller and add a dot. So that would be even easier because it's already part of the design. So I could delete this uh, red dot right here. So let's go ahead and do this. And now I want this dot to be a different color. Obviously you need to select it. So for that, you just click on the text box and you select your little dot right here. Make sure you only have the dot and then go to your color button, like the font color and grab some red color. So I could use this color and this looks pretty good. If I want a brighter red, I can click on this color button again 
and maybe make it more intense by moving the circle right here all the way to the right. All right, I'm very happy about where this logo is going. And as you can see, it has been super easy so far. There is one last thing I want to do is to kind of try to implement on that idea of the flashing dot. Remember, we can still see the flashing dot right here. It's like calling me, hey Ronnie, use, use me. me. Use that me. could that be could fun. Be fine. So I'm gonna succumb to this temptation and really use that flashing dot. So for that, again, I'm going to duplicate this page. So duplicate the page. I'm gonna zoom in quite a bit to see this dot. And I'm gonna bring this flashing dot right here, which is a sticker in Canva. So any moving graphic that you can find in Canva are pretty much called stickers. Okay, so let's move it up. And what I'm going to try to do here is to scale that flashing dot to the same size as this other dot, like right here, and position it exactly on top of the other one. So once I have positioned this flashing dot exactly where it needs to be, what I'm going to do is to use the position button to push it backward one time. And by doing this, I should now have my text box in the forefront, so the first layer in front of me, and this will allow me to simply delete this little dot right here and unveiling the flashing dot, which is right behind this text box, okay? So this has been working very well. So let me zoom out again so you can see the final result here. We have our static logo and we have our animated logo right here. If I wanted to use this version of the logo, page five, I would simply go to my share button download and select one of the two options. You could select MP4 video and download that logo in a video format or as a GIF, okay? So you would have a GIF of that flashing blinking logo. I'm not gonna do this right now, but that's how you would do it. All right, I think I am ready to move on to the next step, step number four already, and that is to collect feedback from my team. So I am going to prep this document. I'm going to arrange this so that when someone joins the document, they clearly see the different options and they can give me their opinion, which will allow me to really see, okay, how do other people perceive my logo, which is super important as well, because it's easy to get caught up in an idea and maybe it's not the greatest idea. So I would prefer to invite Diana to give me her opinion about my different yellows and my different iterations of this logo. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys, I have organized my document. Let me show you by clicking on this grid view. I have the three different versions of my logo, page one, two, three. So these are just the same logo with three different yellow colors, which I have organized on page four right here, all three on the same page with also corresponding colors so that Diana can see only the colors and let me know which one of these three yellows she prefers. Then I have my variant of the logo, which is flashing, so the animated version. And I also went ahead and created two different versions of the logo with different uh, backgrounds. So I have a gray background and I have a different yellow and a black background, which I inverted the frame, which is black, on the original logo, I inverted it to be white so that uh, this version of the logo would be the clear version of the logo to apply on darker backgrounds. Okay, so I am now ready to share this with Diana. So let me show you how this works. You can invite anyone to check out your Canva design. They don't need to be part of your Canva team. And the way to do this is simply to click on this little plus button right here next to your profile picture and to type the email address of the person you want to share the design with. Okay, so in this case, I'm just gonna type in Diana's email address and click on send. And that should send an email to Diana inviting her to join my design. And I can leave also a little message. So I'm gonna send that to Diana, send, and there we go. Now let's wait for Diana to discover this email and join my design. So I'm gonna just wait for her right here. There we go. So Diana is here. You can see her right here. So she just joined the design, but she might not know what to do. So what I'm going to do is to give and uh, leave her some direction, especially here on page number four. I'm gonna click on page four and use this little add comment right here. I'm gonna tag her, so at Diana. There we go. So this is a message for Diana. Okay, and I'm going to assign this to Diana. So comment, 
So now she will see that there is a little message right here and she will probably come and leave me a response in the thread of these comments to help me choose the best version, the best yellow on these three logos. Oh, I can see that she left me a comment. So she said, I prefer this one. So when I click on her comment, I can see the comment is actually linked to this yellow right here in the middle. So that is interesting for me to know and I like that Canva allows you to create a comment for a specific element on your design. So in order to do that, just click on your element and then right click and click on the comment item right here on the menu. That's what Diana used in order to leave me this message right here. I think I'm gonna go ahead with this but I'm going to change this color for the second color right here. So she likes this one. In order to make sure this is the exact color I'm gonna be using on the final version of the logo, I'm gonna use the copy style button, click on it with my first color selected, and then click on the second yellow here to change the brighter color of the logo for the warmer one, I would say. So there we go. Now we have the final logo for this version. And all I need to do is to make sure I also have this yellow right here for this version of the logo. Okay, so I have this one, I have this one, and I just need one more version, which is the one with a white background. All right, guys, we made it to the last step of the tutorial, which is to download your logo with a transparent background. And this is the part where you will need to have a Canva Pro account because only pro users will have this option to download your logo as a PNG with a transparent background. Otherwise, you can still download your logo, but it will have this white background or black background. You won't be able to get rid of it. So obviously, being able to get rid of the background has a lot of uses. You can place it on any type of design. And the good news is that if you're not yet a Canva Pro user, you can use our affiliate link to try Canva Pro for free for 45 days. So this will allow you to create a bunch of logos, export them in PNG with a transparent background. And if you're not convinced, you don't have to continue using Canva Pro, but I'm pretty sure you will fall in love with all the features that Pro offers. So check out the link below in the description of the video and see what it can do. So in order to download your logo, very simple, click on the share button right here and then go to locate the download button. Okay, click on it once and then you will see different file types okay by default if you do have an animated sticker in your document canva will show you mp4 video but if you want to download your logo with a transparent background you pretty much have two options and both will require you to be a canva pro user the first one is png and the second one is SVG. Both of them have a transparent background option. I'm gonna go for PNG, which is the classical one, I would say. And from here, pro users will also have a, an opportunity here to bump the resolution of their design. You see, the default logo templates in Canva are 500 by 500 pixel which is relatively small. So if you plan on using this as your main logo, and if you're serious about your logo, I would probably bump this to as much as I can. So here you can triple the size of this canvas, of this document, to 1500 by 1500, which is, in my opinion, better. You will have a slightly larger resolution. So let's bump the resolution. Again, only pro users will be able to do this. And then I'm gonna tick the transparent background checkbox right here to make sure I have no background. So this white background will be gone. Remember, I wanted to export different pages, page number three and number seven. So I can simply tick the boxes of these pages. Once I'm done, I can just click on done and then download. So what will happen here since I had two different pages is that Canva will download this into a folder and I will have my two different uh, versions of my logo. So this one right here, and you see there's no background behind it. And this one with the warmer yellow right here. So that is how you create your logo with Canva. You see it was super easy, no graphic design knowledge really required, only common sense and a little bit of help from someone in your team to give you a second opinion on your color choices, for example. And now I'm good to go. I can use this logo anywhere. So I will leave it here for today. I'm gonna to leave you with our affiliate link right here at the bottom and another video about how to make money selling logos with Canva right here. I will see you there.